guys, yeah. I'm here with another video. We'll start with a blank project. Hit the plus button so you can add a new title. Select the main title. Now double click the new title so we can go in and edit and make some changes to it. This is where you will change and modify your text. Double click the text area to edit it. You can now edit the text. But in this case we're actually going to delete the text. We don't need it. Now hit the plus button again. Select the shape. The default shape is a square. We will want to expand that and enlarge it. We want it to fill the entire screen. Now select base color to change the color of the box. You can see here that I chose blue. Now exit the text area and go back to the main window. Expand out the text area to make it longer. Now hit the plus button and add a text overlay. Double click on the text overlay to edit the text. Now we'll choose a different font. Choose any font you want. Let's do a few more things to the font. Here I'm adjusting the scale and making the text bigger. Now the text is larger and more pronounced. Now let's add a shadow. Play around with all the settings to your liking. Now duplicate the text overlay to make three copies. Go to the very beginning of the first text overlay. Ensure you have the first text overlay highlighted. Hit the plus button again and select the transition. You'll see that a transition has now been added at the very beginning. Ensure you have the overlay selected, hit the star button and edit slash change the transition to suit your liking. Now the new transition will play. Now go to the end of the third text overlay. Again, you'll want to ensure you have the overlay selected, hit the plus button, and choose a transition. Here I am adding the transition to the end. Now we have transition at the beginning and the end. Select your overlay, select the star folder again, and choose your transition. Now trim the background to match the length of the three overlays. Repeat all of the steps to do another box. Repeat that process as many times as necessary. Creating a video glitch is a lot of fun. I highly recommend you trying it out. Now we'll add overlays on top. I highly recommend you watch Tammy's video so you can create your own. Add the overlay as a new layer and then double click it so you can edit it. Select color and effects and select the key option and then select the green screen option. This will make the background disappear. You'll need to edit the settings to optimize the text for its appearance. I've now adjusted the settings. Now go to frame and fit. Now I'll turn down the opacity to make them more cohesive. I also decided to alter the angle by 45 degrees. Now duplicate your overlay. Now you have two overlays. You'll want to double click the new overlay and then shift it over so that way you cover the entire screen. Just like that. We started with a blank project and we're already up to four layers. 
Now duplicate those overlays, doing the bottom, then the top, then the bottom, then the top, in order. Now let's add a video overlay on top of all of this. It can be a video, a graphic, basically anything you want. Right now it's blocking everything and all of the other work looks like it got lost, but we'll just go ahead and adjust the opacity again and it's going to look a whole heck of a lot better. Double click it to edit it and turn down the opacity. Repeat this process for all overlays. Now let's add some handwriting to more personalize it. Screen recording on your iPad is a really powerful way to create content. So to do this we want to go to the settings, then the control center. Click customize controls, and you want to ensure that screen recording is in the top section. If it's not, scroll down and find it, and drag it up to the top. It's just that simple. Open your drawing app and set the state. Make the background green and ensure everything is clean. The previous image had a white dot. Did you notice it? Swipe down diagonally from the upper right corner to start recording. You'll see a countdown and then you're good to go. Swipe down to stop recording as well. You'll get an alert letting you know the recording was saved to your pictures. Now go back to LumaFusion and open this new video and add it as a new layer. Double click your handwriting layer. Choose color and effects. Select the key option and select green screen option. Adjust the settings to make the text look better. Now go to frame and fit and make initial adjustments and run a test to see how it looks. Note any adjustments you want to make and make those adjustments. And watch that video segment again. Now go into speed and reverse and adjust the speed of playback so you can adjust it to play it back as fast or slow as you want. It. 